Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Joppy Noodle Legs here today with another Noodle film review. Today we're looking at a, a recent film. Um, it's been a sort of long time coming review on my channel because uh, I've been waiting to get it, but I picked it up uh, quite cheap last week and we're looking at Orphan, the first kill. Now this is the prequel to Orphan. Uh, I did review the first orphan on my channel, so if you've seen that, you've got a little bit of know what's going on with the story. Uh, but this story starts off in in, uh, in Europe, in this beautiful sort of snow. I think it's Estonia. I'm sure it is. In this beautiful sort of area, we see all this sort of snow, snowy fields, and snowy outlook, and we see a car sort of driving through the snow, um, heading towards this this sort of big building and this building turns out to be a psychiatric hospital for the criminally insane I think um, and we see this woman arriving and she's um, just arriving there because she's starting a new job so we see her go in and she gets uh, sort of patted down by the security guy and she's saying oh this isn't going to happen every day is it oh you know working here and we see one of the sort of women there who's kind of like one of the patients but she's probably one of the better ones because she's allowed to sort of like be out and about uh, and then we see the main sort of doctor of of the psychiatric, psychiatric hospital meeting her and he he's come along and he starts to show her around the um the establishment and as 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 she's been shown around he she um they're both approached by a nurse who's saying that this patient has escaped from his room and then the alarms sort of go off and it all goes into sort of lockdown and he explains to the new woman that she's the most dangerous patient that we've got in the hospital so anyway, so he helps her go to this sort of like secluded area, like a classroom, and tells her to stay in there while we look around for this patient. You know, don't go anywhere. You're safe in here. I'll come back to you. So the, she's in this classroom, sort of locked in there safely. And then we see her looking out through the sort of glass window, and there's a, a, a young girl behind her. But it's not. It's Esther. Uh, if you remember from the first film. And she's in there drawing a picture. So the 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 new sort of um psychiatric teacher, I think she's an art teacher, goes over to her and starts talking to her, telling her who she is and can she have a look at the drawing and she shows her the drawing and it's a picture of the new teacher. And she goes, Oh, is that me? and all this sort of thing. So the young girl then stands up with like a pencil in her hand. So it looks like she's going to do something wrong to this woman. But then the doors open and the doctor and the security come in. And this is the patient that they're looking for. Um, so they they get her to drop the pencil. And then they sort of, uh, the two security guards grab her and they take her back to her, her room. And then we have a conversation with the the doctor and the new teacher and she was surprised that there's a child there and then he explains to her that she's not a child she's actually a 31 year old woman that has this sort of form of kind of dwarfism but she doesn't age or anything like that it's like a very rare condition and so while, while he's explaining this to her we sort of see Esther in the room in her room sorry and and sort of like looking in the mirror and all this kind of thing. And then we cut to um, an art class going on. And Esther's in there. And the new teacher's in there and some other patients. And Esther says something that triggers off uh, one of the female patients in the room. And she goes absolutely mad. I think it's to do with candy. Uh, like sweets. So she goes absolutely mad. And, and then there's like a they have to get security in the room to get this other woman calmed down. So Esther's got some sort of control over this woman. Um, and then we cut to later in the evening and Esther's in her room 
and we see like the security guards watching them on the TV. And there's one of the guards has brought a parcel in for her, for her to sort of like dropped it in. It's something that he's brought for her. So this 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 security guard's obviously got a shine for Esther. Um, so he drops this parcel in this room. She opens it, and it's like a dress, and like um, wristbands and neck because she's got all these sort of cuts and bruises on her neck and arms. Obviously, where she might be trying to kill herself, I don't know. Not explained. Um, and she's really, really happy, and she uh, gets the, the guy to put, like, the little bracelets on for her through. It's got, like, a little hatch in the door, and she puts her arms through, and he does that for her, and she goes, oh, I want to thank you for it. I want to give you something back. So he's obviously um, entailed that as something sexually, and she says, well, open the door and come in. So he unlocks the door and goes in. Uh, she pulls a chair over to him and sort of stands on it and starts to sort of like caress him and, and stuff like that like she's going to kiss him and things like this and then she grabs his head and then starts bashing his head against the wall about five or six times and, and he sort of like dies and he sort of like slumps to the floor so she then nicks because um, now she's been quite clever She's got this new dress and clothes, um, and she's now got hold of his pass. So she then escapes the room and gets out, and she's sort of like, you see her sort of um, stealthing her way towards the lift area, towards the exit. And then she makes her way down in the lift towards the exit, and then when she gets down to where the front door and the sort of, camera area is we've got that big security guard again that was sort of beginning with the bald head and that woman still there cleaning um so esther says like about do you want candy and that triggers this woman off and she then goes and attacks the security guard the bald headed security guard and she ends up killing him this other woman and while this is happening esther's gone to the uh security sort of like door room where the cameras are and has unlocked the front door and she has left the building we then see the teacher who's actually just left the building before this kicked off in her car and she sort of like does her windscreen wipers and then you see Esther sort of standing there looking at her and she sort of smiles and tells her to sort of shush and then walks off then the teacher gets out as looks around and can't see Esther anywhere she then goes back into um to the score and then they they sort of like uh discussing that she's she's got away. We then cut back to the city of Estonia. We see this like nice sort of like overview of it and we see a car pull up at an at an apartment and it's the uh, the new teacher. She's finally made her way home. So she gets out of the car and heads into her new home, but then the back sort of door bonnet of the car opens. So she goes around to has a look and there's nothing there. So, she, you know, she's a bit confused. There's nothing there, no sign of anything being there. So she closes the door and then heads up to her apartment. And then when she unlocks the door, she has a nice surprise. Esther's in there. And then Esther whacks her around the head a couple of times with it looks like something like a crowbar. And then she sort of falls to the floor. We then cut to Esther upstairs in this woman's flat on her computer. And she's looking at um, lost children uh, in America for some strange reason. And she found one that looks just like her. And her name is Esther. This is where she's got her name as Esther. Um, so she has now grabbed that girl's identity. So she comes back down to leave the uh, apartment and we see the woman at the bottom of the stairs, still alive, the teacher, just a bit. So Esther goes down and then finishes her off quite brutally. Uh, we then see Esther in the playground in outside in the snow and she's approached by a police officer. And this police officer asks if she's okay and where's her parents? And she says, oh, they're in America. And he asks for her name, which is Esther. So he gives her her name. 
we then connect we then cut to Connecticut in America where we meet our family um so we and we see it's like a young lad and a, a mother and a father and this is the family in America and that's what I'm going to tell you um so this I was can't say this is up to old tricks again can I because this is a prequel it's sort of telling you the story of where she got to where she is in the first one um and this is only the first sort of 20 minutes of the film. So she's been in the psychiatric hospital. She's managed to escape. She's, a, she's escaped the country and heading out to this family. You need to watch it to find out what happens. What do I think of Orphan First Kills? It's amazing. It's just as good as the first one. Um, it's, it's on the same level. It's not taking anything away from the film. Um, it's got the same girl. Um, starring in the film as as Esther, um, it's taken nothing away from the film. It's still really, really eerie and still disturbing and kind of scary. This sort of thing could happen. The pluses of this now the transfer is not. Um, we we'll get onto that. Um, the transfer is okay. Um, the acting is really, really cool. Um, it looks really, really good. Um, the story is brilliant. Love the story. The kills are, are, are great. They're very sort of violent and cool. And and it's great that they stuck to some of the original cast. The negatives is the actual um, picture quality. It's quite poor on my, on my edition. Well, it's quite blurry anyway for the first sort of like... Um, when I say blurry, it's like a, it feels like dreamy. It's like a sort of got this sort of dreamy feel across the screen. And that sort of takes it away from it. Um, I know it's just to sort of like differentiate between the two sort of stories, but we're adults. You don't need to do that. We we can see that the, all this sort of thing, but that sort of takes it out of the story a little bit. So it drops a point for that. Um, I'm going to score the film an excellent watch and give it an eight out of ten. I did give the original one a nine. Because uh, it's fantastic. This is also fantastic. It just loses a little bit just due to that little picture quality that I experienced in the first sort of half an hour of the film. It just looks like there's like a like a covered Vaseline on the screen, and it's giving it like a dream sort of like look on it. And the other parts, it looks absolutely stunning. Um, but it just threw me out a little bit. But there we go. Orphan first kill. Eight out of ten. Any of you guys seen it? If you have, let me know down below what you thought of it. It's such a good film. This is such a good series. I really wish they would now make a, an actual sequel. So we've got the prequel and we've got the, the orphan, but it would be good to have an actual sort of sequel to the film. I would love that. It'd be really, really cool. So I hope they're working on that. That would be really good. Guys, till my next video, check out some more channels for me. Check out Horror Hands, Horror Geek, The Man V Film, RS Designs, Pizzlewell, I Am The Ice Lord, um, Sarah of Horror, Cat Watches Horror Movies, Grumpy Andrew's Haunted House. There's some amazing channels out there, Man V Film, all good channels, guys. Until next time, you look after yourselves, you look after one another, and I really hope I'll see you all soon.